What happens when a manufacturer decides to build a proper, aggressive, cool naked bike, but then also tries to make it accessible to 16-year-olds that just got their first IDs? You get this. This is the Honda CB125R and unfortunately there are some places where this bike really disappoints. Places like the engine with the single cylinder units shouting, making noise but forgetting to accelerate at times. It also looks like a really high quality cafe racer inspired design from a 10 meter distance. Get any closer and you start to see plastic panel gaps bigger than a Tesla's. Then there is the sound. On idle it's okay. Although on small throttle blips, it sounds like it's choking on a carrot. But rev it high and it makes similar noises to a Dyson hairdryer. It tries to be its bigger brother, the 1000. It looks up to it and wants to get there, but it cuts so many corners. This is not a smaller CB1000. It's not even close. Maybe I'm looking it all wrong. I'm looking from the perspective of a 24-year-old dude that got to experience the likes of my Super Duke and I'm comparing it to much more expensive, much bigger machines. And that's not fair. What I really need to do is look from my perspective from eight years ago, back when I was 16. And when I do that, it all starts to make sense. It all clicks together when you get to a canyon. The bike forces you to feel like a 16 year old again. It makes you feel young and all you need to do is lean it into the first corner. The little Honda is so light and agile on its feet. You can correct any little trajectory, any little turn. You flick it like it's a bicycle. I'm not over exaggerating. This does feel like a little push bike, but then it's way more stable than you expect. There is no sign of twitchiness. This is a teen that got straight A's on all his tests. You get to a corner and you break. And you find out that most times one finger is enough. Sure, they are not the most accurate brakes. They don't have the feel of Brembo's, but they stop pretty well. And that's what really matters. When you think it can't get any better, it does. Just look at it. It's the first 125 that actually makes me go, hmm. That's, um, that's a really cool looking bike. It's a modern homage to old cafe racers. The right combination between old hip and modern cool. It's beautiful and not just for a 125, for any motorcycle. It's not trying to look like a bigger, fatter brother, but more like the older, skinnier cafe racers. At the end of the day though, it's just a Honda. And Hondas these days are not the most exciting machines out there. They don't give you goosebumps just from looking at a poster. On the other hand, being a Honda means that reliability is a given. If these guys can't build reliable small engines, nobody can. And it's comfy. Maybe a little on the tall side, but it fits me perfectly. And it could even fit someone bigger, like uh, an American. And the tech. Nothing fancy. Nothing that you don't need, but everything that you do. From a fuel gauge, gear indicator, TFT display, ABS, it has all the essentials to help a beginner out. I mean, the Ducati Street Fighter doesn't have a fuel gauge, so you can say that this CB125 is better than a Ducati. Okay, so the 16-year-old me would love to have this. I would give my monthly Doritos allowance for this. But you know what? This younger me flashback might have changed the current 24-year-old version of myself as well. What if I was so stuck in a universe of horsepower and torque, the universe where you feather and fight with the throttle at all times, that I forgot what motorcycles are all about? What if I... I missed out?
Regularly on my Super Duke, I never change gears above 6000 RPM. With this, I never change it below. It's such a breath of fresh air to be able to keep the throttle pinned wide open on a twisty road. It reminds me what motorcycling is all about. Following the curves, leaning into turns, hitting the red line. I feel like Rossi without being a street Rossi. I can hoon around and still be safe and I enjoy every second of it. I honestly didn't expect it, but I am having just as much fun on this bike, on this road, as I would on my Duke. And that says something. The little CB125R has some flaws, sure, but it ticks all the important boxes. If you're 16, this is a killer machine. And if you're not, if you're past the point where you start doing your taxes, it's a way to get you back down to earth. To enjoy the simple things. Because life isn't about what bike you ride, but where and with who you do. And for that, I have to say, I love this little thing.